The White House is requesting approximately $40 billion in emergency funding to support Ukraine and add additional money to the federal disaster relief budget. Nonprofit science and technology company Battelle landed a $107 million task order from the Department of Defense to accomplish analysis, assessment and evaluation for the cause of force health protection. U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Kevin Byrne has relinquished command of the Naval Surface Warfare Center and the Naval Undersea Warfare Center to Captain Thomas Dickinson during a change of command ceremony held Friday at the Washington Navy Yard. Ignatius Buck Liberto, Director of Cybersecurity Risk Management and Compliance at the Office of the Chief Information Officer at the Department of Energy, discussed how DOE has shifted from a perimeter security approach to zero trust to better protect sensitive data and critical facilities from cyber threats. U.S. Army V Corps hosted an event in Grafenwar, Germany to enhance high-mobility artillery rocket system interoperability and allied forces. Setaraman Panchanathan, Director of the National Science Foundation, and Arati Prabhakar, Director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, underscored the impact of President Biden's Bipartisan Chips and Science Act on accelerating U.S. leadership and innovation during a roundtable discussion at the University of Nevada, Reno. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency's Cyber Safety Review Board will conduct a study on private and public sector approaches to protecting cloud-based identity management and authentication. The U.S. Air Force is inviting small businesses with Phase II projects under the SBIR and STTR programs to bid on its Strategic Funding Increase and Tactical Funding Increase initiatives for fiscal year 2024. 2023 Hypersonics Forum on August 15, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. The Federal Communications Commission released a fact sheet on its planned voluntary cybersecurity labeling program, three weeks after it issued a notice of proposed rulemaking. United Launch Alliance added a two-foot auxiliary target to NASA's Space Launch System for use in the Artemis II manned mission to the Moon.